Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be doing our advanced knowledge problem of the week for this week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, see you can see the link in the description um, on our YouTube, in the description on our YouTube channel if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel. Okay, so this week's problem of the week asked you, given the following function where f of x equals x sine of 1 over x when x is not equal 0 and 0 at x equals 0, you were asked to prove that this function is continuous at x equals 0, but is not differentiable at x equals 0. So just for clarity here, I've just drawn a little graph of what it looks like, of what this function looks like here. So the first step is to try to prove that this function is continuous at uh, x equals 0. So for a, function, for a function to be continuous at a point, it means that the limit as x approaches that point must be equal to the function evaluated at that point. So what I'm going to do here to prove that it's continuous is I'll take the absolute value of f of, f of x minus f of 0, which equals, in this case, f of x equals x sine of 1 over x, and f of 0 is equal to 0 which equals, of course, x times the sine of 1 over x. So now we know x sine of 1 over x. We're trying to find the limit. We're going to take the limit of this. So we need to try to simplify this somehow by creating a maximum value for it, or by limiting it by some value. So we know that x times sine of 1 over x. Well, sine of any function, the maximum value it's ever going to take on is going to be 1, or the maximum value it's ever going to give as an output is going to be 1. So we can say that this here, x times sine of 1 over x, is always going to be less than or equal to x times 1, as 1 is the maximum value of this function here, which just equals absolute value of x. So now, using the definition of continuity, we're going to take the limit as x approaches 0, which is the point at which we are trying to determine the continuity or prove the continuity of the function. We take the limit as x approaches 0 of the absolute value of x, and it does indeed equal 0. Therefore, we know that our function is continuous at x equals 0. So now, the second part of the problem asks us to prove that the function given is not differentiable. So, Using, using the definition, I'm going to prove that this function is, in fact, not differentiable at x equals 0. So I'm going to take the limit. Using the definition of the derivative, I'm going to take the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus f of 0 all divided by x, which in this case equals the limit as x approaches 0, f of x, which is x times sine of 1 over x, minus f of 0, which is just 0, all divided by x. So as you can see, there is an x in the numerator and there is an x in the denominator, so I'm just going to cancel them out. And we're left with the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 1 over x. But if you consider this function, it's easiest to see if you just graph the function quick. So the function is going to end up, see this is different than x times sine of 1 over x, which looks like this. You have this envelope here bringing this into x equals 1, x and y equals 1. So instead here, you're going to get something that looks like this. And it will just keep oscillating an infinite number of times before it approaches this point here, before, as, it is, excuse me, as it is approaching x equals 0. So in fact, it oscillates between up this, these upper and lower bounds. But it, in fact, has no limit, as it does not end up at one point or another as it approaches, as x approaches 0. So in fact, this limit does not exist. Therefore, we have just proven that this function is continuous at x equals 0, but not differentiable, which is a very interesting um, very interesting claim, in fact, and uh, this is a very common, this function is very common. Often you'll find it in uh, analysis courses, as I'm familiar with from experience. 
So for more Problem of the Week videos, you can visit our playlist here. Uh, for more math videos, you can subscribe to us by clicking on this link here. And for more math information and information about our affordable textbooks, you can visit us at centerofmath.org. Thank you for watching.